This is Debbie and welcome to my offbeat journey to becoming a full-time location independent freelancer. I'll be sharing my tips and tricks as well as the realities of this offbeat lifestyle. Hey everyone, welcome back and thank you so much for joining me for a new episode of my offbeat journey. I'm so happy to share with you new things that's been going on in my journey into the laptop lifestyle, being location independent. So it's been a few months now, there's been a lot of changes as you know and I was traveling for quite a bit. I was in... Um, Nevada, I was in the Bahamas, I was in California, and in Florida, and I actually decided to come back to New York for about a month. I'm back in New York right now, and I decided to do that because I really missed my family and friends, especially my nieces. I am super close with my family, so it was really hard for me to see all of the photos of my little nieces growing up, and I was missing out on a lot of that stuff. So I decided to come back, and that is the beauty about being location independent, is that you can do whatever you want when it comes to location. So... I'm here for a few weeks before I go off to travel again for another month and I am doing some work here trying to do some collaborations as well and also trying to do some new ventures and I will talk to you more about that in the near future. So right now I'm just enjoying my life here Um, and it's summertime so it's super humid. So the thing that I really wanted to talk to you about on this episode is really what we tend to miss out on when we are constantly traveling and we don't talk about this enough and we don't think about it especially when we're just starting to plan it is that we miss out on so many different things on the lives of the people that we love we miss out on christenings engagements weddings birthdays all of those things that we usually take for granted and we are usually a part of when we are in the same location as all of our loved ones And it really does take a toll on you and you are missing out on so many things that are important. And for me, that is really important is to be around my family who I really loved and I'm really close to. So I guess that's one part of being a digital nomad that is a real struggle for me. And I know for a lot of you as well is that we miss out on a lot of different things. And obviously what we do with our life is really rewarding for ourselves and everything else that we get from it is the freedom. But it also means that we have the freedom to come back and not miss out on these things if we decide that that's a really important part of our life. So if you are location independent, just understand that you don't necessarily need to travel a lot to be happy if you want to be close to your family or friends to be happy then that's great too so it just is a matter of what makes you happy for yourself so do not let anything or anyone dictate how you live your life for sure and don't get me wrong I actually really enjoyed living in Florida I was enjoying it a lot, but I was seeing all of the pictures of my nieces and I just wanted to be here and I feel like I don't want to miss out on their infant and toddler years too much and obviously I'm going to be away um, a lot, but there was a downtime in between some of my travels and work travels, so I just wanted to take advantage of that. And I'm sure some of you are feeling that as well, especially if you are location independent. So if you are, you're not alone. We all definitely feel the same way. And another thing that I wanted to talk to you about is 
really the struggles of the transitions and I think I've been at this for a few months now doing this solely solely doing my business and there's definitely been some ups and downs and sometimes when I feel like oh my gosh I'm not getting any income at all at all this month um it can get really debilitating sometimes and you can get really depressed or anxious and then all of a sudden, you know, as long as you keep working at it, then the next thing you know, like a week or two later, you get a client. So it's always an up and down, a roller coaster when it comes to doing freelance work, when you own a business, when you're location independent. So The reality check once you get into this lifestyle is definitely going to happen. And it's a struggle in the beginning, but working for it and keep working on it as long as it's really what you want to do, it's going to pay off one way or another and it will definitely happen. So for those of you who are struggling right now, like I am, you're not alone. (laughs) We're all in this together and we can definitely do it. So I guess that's it for now, and I will talk to you in a few more weeks and letting you know what my next steps are. I'm uh, doing a few other ventures here in New York, and I will tell you more about that, and I'm really excited for it um, along with my, um, you know, I have new brand deals coming up with Uh, other clients that I'm really excited about so those are going to be in the near future as well and I hope that you guys are doing well in your journey into a location independent lifestyle and I am always happy to hear your journey as well so make sure you reach out to me and I will talk to you guys soon bye Hey, Offbeat family, I really appreciate you listening to this episode. I would love to hear more from you and what you think of the podcast. Suggestions on guests, topics we can discuss, or maybe you just want to be friends. Why don't we chat some more on Facebook at The OB Life or send me a message at hello at theoffbeatlife.com. I can't wait to hear from you.